Hello everybody. We just wanted to give everybody a huge shout out and tell you thank you so much for giving us 1,000 subscribers so quickly. And this is going to be the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We're going to have three straight episodes. So this episode, the next episode, and the next episode. If you make a comment below, you're going to be eligible to win one of our three prizes. Y'all want to say something? You want to say, say something? Thank you, thank you for subscribing for and for subscribing. watching and we'll, our channel. We're getting full. 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Turner, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Can you say hi, Sophie? Say hi. All right. Thanks again, y'all. Thank you. Bye. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker, and this is going to be one of the three videos that we have where if you comment below, um, in the video, you're going to get a chance to be one of our three winners for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So don't forget to comment in this video and give it a thumbs up. So make sure if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that very much. What we'll do is each of these three videos, we'll have one video when it's all done. We're going to wait seven days. We're going to give people a chance seven days to comment on the video, seven days from the airing of the uh, first video we will uh, do a drawing and the three people who win um, will get a chance at one of the three prizes so the first winner we have will get to choose which one of the three they want the second um, winner will get to choose what which one of the two that are left and then the third winner is going to get the third prize so one of the prizes which we've probably already mentioned probably because i'm going to attach it to another video is john cincinnati pickers hat and this is the real deal hat keep on hustling john this was cincinnati picker so most people who watch this show know john already and uh, we're going to give that hat away to uh, one of his fans out there if you happen to not know john cincinnati picker which would be amazing to me um, and are already watching his show, then I'd go over there and check that out. If you do want one of the other two gifts, if you're the first winner, go ahead and, and make that choice and you can get either a $25 credit on, on Commonwealth Picker Store or on the Homeschool Hustler Store. Just you'll send me an email and say, hey, this is what I want for 25 bucks. That includes shipping now, so don't get a $25 item, dollar item and have me ship it to Hawaii. So we're talking $25 total. I'm not, I'm not rich here. And uh, secondarily, um, the other the other choice, if you if you don't want that, is we're giving away a um, a digital scale for for jewelry scale to uh, weigh gold and silver jewelry, along with a jeweler's loop, along with a magnet as well, which I don't have in here. So those will be our three giveaways, and you can choose which one you want uh, of the three. But the person who wins first will have first choice second second choice and third third choice obviously so before we show you what sold today i want to show you a sign that my wife made and then i want to throw out a couple of thanks and some shout outs to um, some other youtube channels who mentioned me on their show and had have helped get commonwealth picker and my family the homeschool hustlers and get blue ridge mama and sophie of course um, to over a thousand subscribers so i just wanted you to Take a look at this sign my wife made. I said, hey baby, would you uh, make me a little sign? I'm gonna hang it up out there. When I do the yard sale video hauls, it'll be in the background, I think. Uh, can't really fit in here too well. Although I thought maybe she could make a sign for in here too. So uh, tell me what you think of that sign. I like it. She's made two other signs for our stores. And our stores are at Bell Treasures in Bedford and also at Needful Things. And we're going to give you an update here pretty quick on, on the sales from those stores in the first full month we've been in there. We're pretty pleased so far. If you get a chance to come to Bedford, definitely stop by those stores. Leave a comment and maybe if you tell me when you're coming, I might be able to come down there and meet you. No promises though. I'm, I'm pretty busy, but um, if you're in town, wouldn't wouldn't mind coming down and, uh, and saying hello. If you buy something out of the store, I wouldn't mind. I'm just kidding. All right. 
Let's go ahead and give a little shout out, a thank you to some of the groups who have, some of the channels who have helped us out so far. Um, it doesn't seem that long ago. I've only, we've only been doing this thing here for about three months before we hit a thousand subscribers. And if you haven't been watching the show, I didn't really intend to, to make this a, a full-time gig at all. I, I really just wanted to learn what I was doing so I could help teach my kids how to do this kind of thing because I think this kind of thing might be a useful tool down the road um, for them as they grow up and learn how to do this kind of thing in a controlled manner. So I don't have that much expertise in too many things. I know a little bit of baseball, I know a little bit of history, and I know a little bit of picking. So I'm like, hey, you know, this might be something I could practice on. And I started getting people watching right off the bat and my kids really enjoyed it. My wife was helping, so I was like, well, let's keep going. And right at 100 subs, uh, Michelle from Thrifting 101 had watched the show and she entered the 100 sub giveaway and won it. We just pulled it out of a hat and Turner pulled it out of a hat and I said, Thrifting 101, I think she's commented before on these videos and we watched her show and I didn't even realize that's who it was that won. And so uh, we sent her off her, her little gift and she mentioned us on her show and we started to get some of her viewers and some of you are all are still with us um, from then and we really really appreciate you and then not um, too long after that I bought something from uh, Matt part-time pickers for for Turner um, for his birthday which is only geez by the time this thing airs less than two weeks away um, he reminds me every day so I know trust me and when he mentioned us on the show we got a ton of subs from Matt so if you, and, and I know most of you came for Matt as well, so we appreciate you being here. And then uh, Thrift Mind mentioned us as well, which was really kind of them. And John from Nevermore Antiques, I think on a couple occasions, John, you have uh, mentioned mentioned us, and we really appreciate you, and we love watching you. And there's been some other shows as well, and I and I think I might put 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 a link to each of those shows in this video as the video goes on, and. Uh, BK Vending and Flipping, you've, you've mentioned us, I believe, Rideshare Reseller all the time. Uh, Mike's a great guy, a good friend of mine, and he is just absolutely killing it over there. As a, as a newbie to eBay, he's beating my monthly sales. Now, I will say you live out in California, so you got a little bit better merchandise than the hills of, of uh, <laughs> Southwest Virginia. But nonetheless, you are killing it out there. So if you haven't had a chance to check out Rideshare Reseller, you should check him out. Um, Thrifting Adventures has been a great friend of the program since the very beginning. Ben G76 Show, you've been kind to the program as well. Uh, Midwest Picker is a new t YouTuber and you've been kind to the, to the program as well. So there's probably a few more out there I'm forgetting. If I forgot you, send me an email or send me a comment and, and let me know and I'll be make sure to put, a, to put a contact in the video. So, all right, well, thank you guys so much. I can't say enough about the viewers. I could go through a list of viewers. You know, you guys get to know us, you watch us. And you feel like you know us and the only way I can get to know some of you is through your comments and some of you comment time and time again and I really really appreciate it and I feel like I can get to know you a little bit if you're a youtuber out there I can get to know you through your videos and I feel like I know some of you I can only get to know you and my family can only get to know you through your comments and I feel like I have got to know some of you so hopefully you continue to comment we really appreciate it so thanks for bearing with us through that and we're gonna show you what's sold today and uh, hopefully you enjoy all right, y'all. So I told Reagan that we were going to do one of those videos. I've seen on, on, on a few different shows where they have that random picker where they're going to pick one of the comments out in order to do the giveaway. And Reagan reminded me that who got to, who got to pick the name out of the hat for the 100 subscriber giveaway? Turner. That's right. And I told Reagan that when we hit 1,000 that she would get to pull one of the names out of the hat. So would it be okay if... We use the random computer generator for one of them or two of them and then let you pick it out for one. Yeah. Is that all right with y'all? We'll let Reagan pick a name out of a hat. So we'll make some little uh, pieces of paper and we'll write all your names on them if you comment and then we'll let her pick one of them out. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. And Sophie's mad that she doesn't get to pick one too. You mad? You want to pick one too? No, you don't care, do you? You don't care. You just want your belly scratched. All right, we're finally to the sales. We have $311.52 going out, and the first one, the first sale up, I believe was a $23 sale, and it was this shirt right here, styled by RJC, 
Hawaii. This was a uh, Blue Ridge Mama find at the Goodwill. Should be about a $12 profit on this item. One little hint is, you know, the ones that are made in Hawaii are the ones that usually have the value. Uh, this is just a plain Jane polo, women's size medium, and it is just a regular cotton polo, nothing special at all. I probably paid a bucket a yard sale, sold for $12.41 free shipping. So it's about a $6, maybe a little less, $5, $5 profit. All right, so this item right here, I should I should make a free giveaway if you can guess what these things are. Uh, only the craziest pickers out there can figure out what the heck these things are. You know what, that wouldn't be a bad contest. But I'm going to tell you anyways, these are bun and thigh roller replacement clips or... I don't even know what you want to call them. I mean, what do we call them? Pins, I guess, is what we call them. So those blue bun and thigh rollers, if you've ever seen these, these clip in and, and keep the legs in place. Now, why am I selling these is the question. Um, my uncle would tell me I'm out of my mind for selling something like this because we got $5.41, which translates to about a $1.60 profit, um, which is obviously not much. But I sell off the bands that go on that machine, and the bands can go for a pretty decent amount of money. So if you buy the machine for five bucks, you sell off the bands, you make twelve, thirteen dollars in profit, and then you make an extra couple of bucks on these. You might as well. What else are you gonna do with it? Throw it away. I was watching Cincinnati Picker the other day, um, you know, Cincinnati Picker, and he sold a couple items for five ninety nine or less. One of them was less than that, I think. So hey, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. All right, next item up is a retail arbitrage item from Walmart. And if you can believe it, um, I paid 10 bucks for it, I think. Can't even remember, it's been so long. Um, well, I guess it's been nine months. And it was originally $39. And somebody paid $39.95 plus shipping for this to buy it now. If you're planning your Christmas out early, I guess, I don't know what the heck the deal is, but... Uh, at any rate, this is going to sh ship just like it is. I put it in the listing, said it's going to ship in its original box, and that's what we'll do. I usually take the price out of it just because, I don't know, I feel bad selling something a little higher than the prices at Walmart. But at the same time, you can't buy these at Walmart right now. They don't have them in stock. So um, I guess we're doing a service. So at any rate, we'll make a little bit of money on this. And usually I buy a few at the end of the season, 75% off and uh keep one keep two um for the house we usually put up two two trees one upstairs one downstairs so maybe i'll put a tree in here this year all right so i mentioned bk vending and flipping and this is why i don't like selling shoes every once in a while you know you get such a good deal on shoes 50 cents this is a nike frog shoe i don't know and so there were 50 cents this one yard sale so i bought up like every single thing you know at that price you might as well not even look them up just figure it out later and i ended up donating some to the goodwill these i kept i listed them for like 9.95 plus shipping and they've been here for two years and i finally took an offer for 5.95 um free shipping or excuse me uh, calculated shipping so uh, these are finally getting out of here thank goodness and this is an item that my oldest son um bought at a yard sale uh, sometimes every once in a while i'll have him go out if i feel like there's two places and i can't be at both places at once i'll have him go out and do some yard sailing um, and pay him he, he usually takes pictures for me and he uh, bought this item i believe he bought it for five dollars um he, he may have to remind me on this but it sold for um 39.95 so it's a pretty nice little profit i believe it's free ship so it is going to cost a little bit to ship but not too much it'll definitely probably fit in a region a if we need it to um which means it'll ship out for two pounds so for those of you out there who have asked about the shipping videos i'm still going to do them uh, i know there's a few people out there that would like some of those questions answered um and i'll be happy to do them but i i'm working on them and i want to have them all ready and release them all at the same time so we'll do that in, probably in the next month or so all right so this one is a nice sale so i appreciate it to my uh to my oldest son jacob out there appreciate that speaking of jacob he's kind of an unsung hero here he does a lot of the pictures he doesn't often appear on camera matter of fact i think he's appeared in two of our videos he narrated one with the homeschool hustlers as we moved into the booth at, at needful and needful uh, needful things antiques so um but he is even though he doesn't like to be on the videos all the time 
um, he he is willing to help when we when we ask him to. So I appreciate that. And a little shout out again to Blue Ridge Mama, who who obviously made that great sign. But you know I'm a high school history teacher, and so when I went back to school, we weren't sure we we're going to continue to do this. And she has made sacrifices and done a lot more. Um, so that we can continue to do this. She used to edit the videos all the time. She's doing a little bit of that. Um, and she's taking care of the antique booths, pretty much entirely pricing things, taking stuff to the antique booths. And she's doing a great job. So thank you. And hey, so I had a couple of late sales I failed to mention. So this is an old school AT&T bag. I picked it up for probably 50 cents at the yard sale about seven, eight months ago. And this thing, believe it or not, sold for 15 bucks. So. It's a really nice, about $10, a little bit less, about $9 profit. And this is a great sale. It's uh, definitely Halloween time. So this thing sold for $55 plus shipping. I was hoping to get a little bit more, but only paid $15. So it's about a $35 profit. Don't forget to comment below, ring that bell, and enter yourself into the contest to win. See you later.